arrive around 1.30 a.m. Wow. Whoa. So once again, we are now headed back to Miami and we'll arrive around 1.30 wow, a.m. That's crazy. I didn't uh oh. At the moment, we do not have a departure time for tomorrow after our arrival, but we'll share all relevant information with you as soon as we have updates. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope all of you are doing well. So by now, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have heard the horrific news that is taking place on the cruise ship that I'm currently sailing on, which is the Valiant Lady by Virgin Voyages. Yesterday was our embarkation day or our first day of the cruise, and roughly around 11 p.m. after dinner for myself and the people that I was with, we got an announcement stating that we would be doing a 180 and turning around, going back to Miami for a medical emergency. Now at the time, we didn't know exactly what was going on. However, a lot of plans were getting canceled and everybody was kind of curious around the ship. There were rumors stating that somebody had passed away and, well, again, nothing was confirmed at the time. That's why I didn't want to rush and make a video. I was going to last night. I recorded something and I didn't put it up, but now I have a lot of information. I've already talked to a lot of the guests that were standing, uh, well, they were in the room next door to, well, the unfortunate situation that took place. And I have videos and I have announcements from the captain and clips that I want to show all of you. So sailing on board the Valiant Lady, we didn't find confirmation until roughly around 3, 4 a.m. I was up last night and we did see a crime scene investigations unit over there. And again, of course, people are going to run wild with rumors as far as what's going on. However, we now officially have confirmation. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and see the, well, hear the announcement. And then after that, I'll go over the further details. That we were responding to a medical emergency on board, bringing us back to Miami this morning. We are uh, deeply saddened to share this news. One of our passengers went over their balcony and onto a lower deck. Despite quick action from our passengers, crew and medical team, this person has passed away. And so right now we are working closely with Miami officials. Our hearts and thoughts are with this passenger and their loved ones. We send them our deepest sympathies. We know that this is a sad situation and myself and our crew are available to help you in any way we can. As a result of return to Miami, we'll need to make some adjustment to the voyage itinerary. We will depart at 9 a.m. this morning and unfortunately will not be able to make our call to Roatan. Today and tomorrow will be sea days. Due to some weather challenges expected in the area, we will also be swapping out Costa Maya to Cozumel. Now arriving on Wednesday morning and we will be in Bimini on Friday as planned. Any short things you have planned for Roatan and Costa Maya will be refunded to you. And new experiences in Cozumel will be available to book soon. Our crew will do all they can to make sure you have a restful holiday and we are committed to doing all we can to take care of you. We are also offering everyone on board 100% future cruise credit to be used from now on throughout the end of the year which will be shared with you directly over the next several days. Thank you for your understanding. As we have any additional updates, we will share them with you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out or to visit Sailor Services on Deck 5. Thank you for your attention. So I wanted you guys to hear the captain's announcement straight from the horse's mouth. That way nothing is misunderstood. As you heard, it has been 100% confirmed that unfortunately a passenger has passed away here on board the ship. Now, I'll tell you what I know so far. I have heard and I've talked to people that they say allegedly they are next door to the room. I have a couple that are a few doors down. I have a friend of mine that's on board that is a few doors down. I've also talked to the crew because friends of mine are currently working on board this ship. They're saying it was a female passenger on the 14th deck that allegedly jumped off the ship or her balcony rather to 
the ground. Well, she didn't land. I don't know if she was trying to go into the water or whatever the case may be. However, she ended up landing down on deck seven by the ice cream shop. Now, I don't want to go into too many details. It is a very tragic, very unfortunate situation. I want to make that very clear. My condolences do go out to the friends, family, and loved ones of the passenger that has unfortunately passed away. And I also want to make it clear that I'm not the first person to talk about this. If you guys go look online, up until, let's say now and between last night, there have been tons and tons and tons of articles of what has taken place in detail. Now, when it comes to this, there is, well, the vibe overall here on board is a little shaky. My girlfriend as well, she's never experienced something like this. I have. So she's a little shooken up. She's not at a point where she wants to get off the ship. I know there were some passengers that did disembark because of the situation. Uh, Virgin Voyages is doing everything they can to be accommodating and to, well, we know we have to somewhat move forward from this because there are people here that are just trying to enjoy their vacation and they're doing the best that they can. So in order to make up for this, Virgin Voyages has offered every passenger here 100% future cruise credit. I'm going to assume that that's going to come in the form of what's known as an access key. Basically, they give you a code and then you can use it until the end of the year type it in online when you're booking your virgin voyages cruise and you essentially get a free cruise which that is a, a very generous of them now just looking at the situation as a whole as most of you know there are only three scenarios that happen when somebody well they don't just fall off of a cruise ship either it's somebody that has accidentally fallen because there have been situations where somebody's playing on the railing or on their balcony and they have unfortunately fallen sustained injuries or unfortunately succumbed to the injuries there's been situations where somebody does intentionally jump this happens roughly around 25 to 26 times per year or in a very very rare case it could be foul play now this is something everybody was suspecting because of the crime scenes unit that was over by the port whenever we got back to miami however like i said it's not confirmed but to my knowledge and from what i've heard from people that are nearby the area they're saying that a female passenger did jump off of her balcony intentionally now for our original itinerary we were set to go to roatan we had one sea day today and we were set to be over there tomorrow however plans have changed with the situation that has taken place causing us to go back over to Miami. So instead, we are also removing our Costa Maya call and we will be replacing it with Cozumel. Personally, I love Cozumel, it's my favorite port. So we have Cozumel now and we only have Bimini where they have the Virgin Voyages Private Beach Club. So again, Virgin is doing the best that they can. I think they have been very accommodating and just trying to make sure everybody continues on their vacation. But this is all I have, guys. I don't think I'm gonna do an update unless something crazy comes out. I don't think there will be. But uh, yeah, like I said, my condolences go out to those who have now lost a loved one. Of course, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Know that I love and appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.